Theory of the Earth was a publication by James Hutton which laid the foundations for geology. In it he showed that the Earth is the product of natural forces. What could be seen happening today, over long periods of time, could produce what we see in the rocks. This idea, uniformitarianism, was used by Charles Lyell in his work, and Lyell's textbook was an important influence on Charles Darwin. The work was first published in 1788 by the Royal Society of Edinburgh, and later in 1795 as two book volumes. Hutton recognised that rocks record the evidence of the past action of processes which still operate today. He also anticipated natural selection, as follows. Those which depart most from the best adapted constitution, will be the most liable to perish, while, on the other hand, those organized bodies, which most approach to the best constitution for the present circumstances, will be best adapted to continue, in preserving themselves and multiplying the individuals of their race." Hutton's prose hindered his theories. John Playfair in 1802 restated of Hutton's geological ideas in clearer English. However, he left out Hutton's thoughts on evolution. Charles Lyell in the 1830s popularized the idea of an infinitely repeating cycle of the erosion of rocks and the building up of sediment. Lyell believed in gradual change, and thought even Hutton gave too much credit to catastrophic changes. Hutton's work was published in different forms and stages 1788. Theory of the Earth, or an investigation of the laws observable in the composition, dissolution, and restoration of land upon the globe. Transactions of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, Volume 1, Part 2, pp. 209-304 1795. Theory of the Earth, with proofs and illustrations. 2 vols, Edinburgh, Creech. 1899. Theory of the Earth, with proofs and illustrations, Volume 3. Edited by Sir Archibald Geikey. Geological Society, Burlington House, London. 1900-1901.